Faith. It's so wonderful to be with you again this Friday. Uh, Pastor Sunrock and I have a lot of news today, so we're going to try to do it quickly so you don't give up and turn off the video before it's over, right? Yes. <laughs> so this is the 4th of July weekend, national holiday. I know many people are traveling and going to go to the fireworks. And um, I don't, Have you thought at all about where you're going to take your daughter? Maybe we will go to the go and see firework. Yeah. yeah, so there's fireworks on the river at Jinx. Mm -hmm. And then there's they have some downtown. So there's different options on where to go. Okay. We usually go to Jinx because mm -hmm. it's so close. Okay. Yeah. But they uh, you can sit on this side of the river and they shoot them from the other side, but oh. they're you can see them for a long long mm -hmm. way. It's a, it's a little crowded though. So you might take a <laughs> a chair or a blanket and some water, those kinds of things. But And some of you will be going to the lake and you'll be going to be with family. So your travel mercies we will be praying for. And those of you that are here, we're going to have only one service on Sunday at 10 a.m. And then after that service, we're going to have an all-church picnic and potluck. And so if you are worried about COVID or germs or if you have a special diet, just bring your own food and eat it. If you are willing to take the chance to share food and uh, do a buffet line, then bring something uh, to share with others. And this is gonna be a time where we just hang out and visit and have a nice time. I'm gonna have some Frisbees outside. And for those people who don't wanna be outside or if it's too hot, um, we'll have some tables inside as well. So join us on Sunday if you're in town. And then the other thing that I want to talk about that's happening, not, not Sunday, July 3rd, but the following Sunday is our new series, Bizarre Bible Stories. So I wanted to do something fun. We need the do, 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 do. The, um, wanted to do something fun in July. And so I found some stories that are in the Bible that are strange and uh, people think, uh, ask lots of questions about. So we're going to have um, actually animal themes. So one week we're going to talk about where it says in the Bible that if you're faithful, you can hold a poisonous snake and not be uh, uh, bitten or injured. And we have another scripture where a man has a donkey that actually talks, uh, which is only things you see on Disney, right? <laughs> and um, and then we have another Bible story where uh, there's a bald man being teased by children, and that doesn't go well <laughs> for them. So uh, they're fun scriptures, and they're probably scriptures you've never heard preached on before, except for our gospel story about the pigs that um, are infected with demons. So <laughs> it should be a lot of fun. And we want you to join us, invite a friend, that kind of thing. So we're gonna switch from worship to missions. Mm -hmm. Go, Soon Rock. <laughs> First one is Family Promise. Oh, yeah. here we go. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's our other sign. Uh, during the week of July, uh, 31st to August 5, as the host uh, church, uh, we are asking to provide the dinner for the families each evening. If you are available to help provide a meal, please go to our website and click the Stay Connected button, and like this mm -hmm. here. And you can find, uh, you can ask to the uh, Joyce and Joe Holton or come to the yeah yeah there's their phone number phone number and you can go to the service station on Sunday yeah wonderful family promise is a ministry that faith uh, helped create and it's been uh, sad the last two weeks because there's been so many families that are homeless they've uh, turned down like 22 families a week because they don't have space for all of them out in this mm -hmm. heat um, and so there is an incredible need for housing for the homeless. Uh, one of the things that we discovered about Family Promise is that almost every family that ends up homeless uh, were people who had jobs, but someone got sick and someone went in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't that they were non-working people. 
is that they had a medical emergency and so they ended up losing their housing because of the medical emergency. Um, so we, we love this ministry and we do this four times a year. So we encourage you to help uh, do something simple like mm -hmm. make a meal for those folks. Thank you. Yeah. And what's the other one we've got coming up? Night Light Trust. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. We love that one, <laughs> yes. don't we? Yeah. Uh, we will serve Night Light Trust on July 21st. Uh, oh. I served last time. It was a wonderful mm -hmm. experience to me. And uh, my wife and my daughter, Rina, also joined that serve that uh, mission. Uh, my daughter said it was wonderful experience. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. Sometimes children are kind of mm -hmm. afraid because mm -hmm. there's all those strangers around. Yeah, right. But yeah, yeah, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, she was. She really enjoyed that. Good. To serve many things too. Yeah, yeah. that's wonderful. Yeah. I'm so pleased. Yeah. Um, and so then that's pretty much uh, what we've got going on for July. Uh, I wanted to, in case you didn't know, our Connect Wall has information about all of our ministries that say Summer 2022. And so this one is the one that uh, Jonathan made for the youth group, but it has all of the information about our ministry, and then it has all the wonderful summer events. So if you thought, oh, we're not having anything in the church, then the summertime or the youth group, or that's not true. The children's ministry, we're uh, doing missions all week this week, and the youth group ha actually was, they're going to Nightlight Tulsa mm -hmm. last night, uh, and they worked in, the, in their storage area. They're gonna build bunk beds. Uh, they're going to a driller's game. Uh, they're doing yard work for the homebound uh, people that are part of our congregation but can't really do yard work anymore. So that is all coming up uh, very quickly. And then um, in the fall, which is August, we're gonna have a block party and that's coming back. And Wyatt Smith, he used to work here, he um, is bringing his band and they're gonna do our music and mm -hmm. there's gonna be food and inflatables and that'll be August 12th. Um, and then two weeks later on the 24th, we'll begin all the fall classes. And so I know you've been working on that. Mm -hmm. Everybody on your team is working on those fall classes. Do you yes. remember what some of those are? Uh, Multi-ethnic class. Uh -huh. then yes. And then I'm doing mm -hmm. disciple. Mm -hmm. And we're hoping to get one more person to teach a second disciple class. Yes. And um, we're going to do eight weeks of parenting teenagers because apparently that's a big need <laughs> as well. Right. Um, and then of course the youth and the um, children will kick off their Wednesday night regular small group ministry. So mm -hmm. it's a busy place around here during the summer. And uh, we, we pray that you all that are traveling this weekend, that you'll stay safe and we'll see you again the following week. And those of you that are going to be here, we can't wait to see you on Sunday. Thanks.